Greetings from Bermuda, this is BDL Army, and welcome back to Poker Quest. So this is a game I played a ton of last year while it was in early access. Uh, the game recently hit 1.0, so this is the final full release. So we're going to jump back in and take a look and see what's changed. All right, so it's kept all my scores from the early access, uh, which is good. Um, so standard run, so these are all the different characters uh, that we can play. Some of them I think have got uh, new art, I think the knight's art has been changed. Uh, I don't know, maybe some of the others as well. Um, but we had unlocked all the way down to here. Uh, some of them we got wins in. Uh, so if you've not played the game before, the game is basically broken down into four acts. Um, and you can choose to bail at the end of Act 1 or Act 2 or Act 3, uh, or push your luck all the way into Act 4. Um, and you get a start uh, for each act that you successfully complete with the character. Uh, so you can see here we've only gone all the way with one of the characters, I think. Anyway, um, the uh, the reason the Banco is showing progress, even though it's still locked, is because we think we did that in a daily. Um, so the game has uh, daily runs available as well, uh, which have a, a preset character. Um, but I think for this run, we will jump back in with the last character we had unlocked. Why not? Uh, which is the Tortoise. Uh, so, see if I can remember how to play this game. So it starts with two pieces of equipment. Uh, the Flail doesn't cost any cards to play it, but uh, we have to put cards to a value of 10 in to unlock it. Then attack for 15 and lock again until we put 15 uh, value cards in. Moon Doggy, how are you doing? Uh, Yuki, how are you doing? <laughs> welcome, welcome. I know, so many characters, right? It's, it's yeah, it's just incredible how much stuff there is in this game. Uh, the early access version, it didn't have this up here either, so you couldn't kind of see uh, at a glance all of the characters. So this really kind of makes you appreciate how much there is. And they, they, have, they have like uh, special characters as well. There was like, um, there's a special character for Christmas. There's a special one for Halloween, I think, uh, for the dailies for those. So it's it's pretty cool. There's a lot of variety. Um, but yes, tortoise. Uh, what else? Stone skin. One card costs two health to use it. Uh, and we block for the value of the card. And we give the cards to use to the enemy. But we can use it as many times as we like. Okay. Uh, I guess that's why we've got 160 health. Uh, we're supposed to use it. Um, our energy ability in combat, you may spend one energy to gain tough one, uh, which makes attacks do 50% less damage to you, okay? And gain one energy per map move. Five gems, 15 chips, 15 food. Okay, we are going to play in classic mode, because that's the way I always played it. That's the kind of roguelike mode. Um, well, it, it's it's a roguelike mode, I guess, but you still gain XP, which unlocks new characters. So even classic mode is still kind of a bit roguelite as well. Uh, but upgrades mode is even more roguelite-y. Uh, you get points from every run, which you can spend um, to give yourself various starting bonuses, and you can reset those at any time. Uh, as you can see from this, I have never bothered with this. Uh, so let's go, classic mud. Uh, you reach the first castle in your last run. Choose your world modifier. No modifiers. Start with plus 20 chips, but minus 30 max life. Start with a random item and minus 10 chips. Or cancel and choose a different hero. Um, with the tortoise, we could maybe actually go for this, but I'm just going to pick no modifiers. Usually I find the modifiers at the beginning are often worth picking the no modifier option. Anyway. Um, all right, what we got? Blacksmith, Enchantress. Uh, that is either a new thing or the art is different. Uh, the art is probably different. Uh, gems, chips. Uh, so yeah, if you've not played the game before, basically we are making our way across this Slay the Spire style map. Uh, towards a boss at the end of the act. Um, the difference from Slay the Spire being you can only see a certain number of map nodes ahead. Uh, that is controlled by our world map site range here, uh, which is one of the things that we can upgrade by spending chips. 
um, along with the number of slots that we have for our equipment, uh, the number of cards that we draw every turn when we are playing the game, and how many cards we get when we play a gem. Uh, and all that will become obvious when we start. So I think... Um, God, we, do we want to go to the blacksmith right away? Is it worth upgrading this? What's the, what's the upgrade cost? So we can spend all our chips to upgrade the flail. Uh, increases it to attack 25. Or upgrade stone skin. Oh no, we cannot upgrade stone skin. Okay, interesting. Uh, or we head down here, we get a gem, head down there, get a chip. You know what? Here we go here. And upgrade our flail and just spend all our money. I don't know if this makes sense. Usually, <laughs> usually early in the game you want to upgrade your card draw or your gem draw. Um, because drawing two cards every turn is not very good, but we'll see how we get by. Okay, first fight, gotten more. Um, eat, no card cost unlocked, 20. Oh, it doesn't matter, we're going there anyway. So let's just play. So, if you have not seen the game before, this is our hand over here. This is the enemy's hand over here. Uh, on our turn, we get to take the cards that we have drawn and put them into our equipment to do stuff. So this is not a deck builder. We've, we're drawing from a deck of playing cards um, and we are both drawing from the same deck so if we see uh, the ace of spades over here we know that if we draw extra cards we are not going to draw the ace of spades because it's already been drawn uh, so we can put our uh, cards into our equipment to get it to do stuff then uh, once we've finished our turn the enemy will use his cards to go into his equipment and enemies use their equipment from left to right so um, he will put all of the cards he can into eat first uh, and then if he has any cards left over he'll put them into lock into in sorry into burst um so similar to us so we have to uh whoops i remember when we do this um so he has to put 20 points worth of cards into both his pieces of equipment to use them uh, this one, uh, we will lose to food. Um, this one, he will attack us for 25 and then die. Okay, this one's got two uses per combat. Okay, so basically he's going to steal our food. Then once he's done that twice, um, he will attack us for 25 and then die. We gain four. Bit of a funky enemy. This is not a, not a standard enemy. Uh, I, so I think we just hit him. Uh, aces count as either 1 or 11. Uh, this is showing you the total, some total value of his cards here. This is showing you the total value of our cards here. Uh, so this counts as a 10, so we can put this into flail, which unlocks it. Uh, and then we can use it. No card cost to actually use it. Attack for 25, uh, and then it locks again for 20. Uh, since he's not going to attack us, we're just going to take that 6 in and put that in there as well. So it's a bit kind of Dicey Dungeons-like as well, if you've played that. Uh, and they've got no other cards to play, so we end our turn. His ace goes into there. Uh, 14 to unlock this. I mean, we just put both of these in there. And then we can do it again. And he's nearly dead. All goes in there. 18 is not enough to fully unlock that. So that goes in there. We lost two food. Food's important because we lose one food for each move we make on the world map, like it says here. Uh, and if we run out of food, uh, we lose 10 health and 2 energy each map move. Uh, okay, so we put that in flail and we hit with that and we kill him. Okay, next battle. A bit more traditional. So, four cards rank 10 or higher, he will attack us for 27. Uh, if he doesn't have that, three cards rank 10 or higher, he'll attack us for 14. Uh, this enemy has four visible cards and two uh, hidden cards. Well, so we know from this that we are safe. He's not going to hit us this go. Uh, so we can just put that into the flail and then use it. 
and then we can put that into the flail and start unlocking it again and we don't have to worry about stone skin we'd have to worry about using our ability either this is worse so this is flashing to show us he already has three cards of rank 10 or higher if one of these is rank 10 or higher he's going to attack us for 27 and there's not much we can do about that um tough one what was tough one again i Reduces damage by half, right? So we are going to want to do that. Let's do that now. Uh, yeah, 50% less damage. Uh, we can... I think I'm... Uh, we can only block for 8. And then he gets the card, although that's fine. He can't do anything with an 8. Honestly, I could just hit him. We need to kill him as quick as we can. Oh, right, okay. Minus 13 life. That's all right. We're tortoise. We're tough. Uh, 19. But again, we're safe from him this turn, so that's fine. So we can do that. End turn. Uh, he is not going to get a chance to hit us, because I'm going to do that. Kill him with that. Okay. Next battle. Hell Giants. Oh. You cross paths with a traveling healer. She can heal you for some gold. Uh, not gold, chips. Pay one chip, restore 32 health. That seems like a good deal. I'll do that. Uh, hill Giant. Any cards adding to at least 50 attackers for 15. Okay, so he can't do it this turn. Uh, the best he could do would be an ace there, which would get him up to 48. Uh... One thing I haven't been doing is using my gems. I could be using my gems to draw extra cards to help us unlock this faster. Um, but we don't need to use the gems. We shouldn't use the gems. Why do they all have like slightly more than two hits worth from there? Uh, 44. Uh, did he have 39? I thought he had like, did he have 37? He had 37 with one hidden card. I may be misremembering. Um, what do we do here? It's pretty good odds he's going to be able to hit us six or higher. But it's only hitting us for 15. So I'm just going to put both of those into there, and I'll use an energy. He did not hit us, okay? So the energy was wasted. Uh, a five and a three will do it. Oh, one health. I, I really need some other piece of equipment that can do just a little extra damage. Um, again, there's a reasonable chance he's gonna hit us, so I'm gonna use an energy. He did. Seven this time. He's definitely attacking us this time. Um, I could use this block ten, or I just use another energy. We're getting what one per map move, which is pretty good. I'm just gonna put that in there. Use another energy. with that okay all right so now i've got a choice uh food how are we doing nine food so one two three four five six to castle hearts which is halfway through the level uh more food would be good neither of these guys are offering food pile of three gems is decent i really want the chips probably I could upgrade my gem drawer. Maybe that would be a smart thing to do. Sure, let's do that. Uh, and let's go top because it gives us some food and we get three chips off this guy. Uh, assuming actually he's not terrible. What's he doing? Two hearts will attack us for 30. One heart will block for 10. And he's got two visible cards and one hidden. 
I don't love that. What are you doing? A four card flush. So four cards of the same suit. It's six visible cards and one hidden. Attack for 11, poison for six. Uh, it's damage over time. Uh, and then N is reduced by 20% with a minimum reduction of one. Okay, so this is not quite like other games. Uh, the, the buffs don't necessarily go down by one every time. It could be like this by a percentage. Uh, I still think we go for go for bigger money. Need the money. Okay, so he's got one heart. He might have two. This really isn't great, is it? Attack 30. It's pretty gruesome. Putting it in there, though. Okay, so now he's got block 10. So block prevents damage for a turn. Um, and then goes away. We'll save this guy. So we put that in there first. Hit him. Oh yeah. And his block absorbed a lot of it. Uh, and then we'll start unlocking it again. Safe again. Put both of these in there. Actually, we should be using gems. Safe again there. Put the eight in there. Back in with that. Put that in there. Uh, that's fine. Deceased. Okay, grab a food. Uh, grab a chip. One whole chip. Options. Goat, headbutt, no card cost. Uh, 30 points to unlock and then attacks for 26 and then locks again for 30. Rage, three cards straight, add nine damage for the rest of combat. Three red cards, attack for 13. Uh, that's fine. If we go this way, we then have a choice of either going up here or down here. Uh, threes gain plus eight to their card value when used to calculate damage or effects. These, these temples are good. Uh, I think we should... Oh, well, how much is it, though? Five. Yeah, we can afford that. Let's meander down here. Okay, three red cards. Two hidden cards. That's a bit annoying. He had a three card straight. Well, at least he doesn't have three red cards. Okay, if those in there, I should use gems. I'm gonna use a gem now. Two, use seven and four, go. Yeah, plus 18 attack damage, so now his attack's up to 31. He's got another straight. Friggin' A. If, if these... Uh, he's not going to attack us though, because if these cards are both red cards, then uh, the 4, 5, 6 will go into here first. It will use up the 6, and so he won't have three red cards to be able to use an X-Swing. So that would be alright. Uh, go. Which is exactly what happened. Plus 27 attack damage. Attack 40. Oh my god. He could actually have that as well. Uh, I'm not really sure that there's much value in us delaying here. Let's use another gem. Unlock that for 10. Get him. Uh, how do we get 20 value out of this? Uh, 9 and the 7 and the 4 would be 20. Let's do that. Hit him again. Do we use another gem? Or do we use the eight in here along with a hit of that? Uh, I think that I think block comes first, so that would take it down to 32, which would then be halved, which is still 16 damage. Seems like a lot. I'm gonna use a gem. Uh Jack and an ace. 
Oh no, two uses per turn. Rod. Well, that was a waste. At least I can use the A. Um. Oh, and I give the cards to him. Ah, okay. I could actually... Can I give him a straight? I can't. But the more cards I give him, the more chance he will have a straight. Uh, so let's do that. Ten jack. He just needs a queen. Got 21 block. Let's do a hit of energy and just end our turn. Okay, he did have a straight. All right, uh, we need to kill him right now. So we need to do that. Using all our gems. Okay, he was a bit tricky. Temple of threes, go. Let's have enhanced threes. Is there any reason why that would be particularly bad for us? Not really. Done. Plus eight up the card values for all threes that we use in combat. Other than we've now just got to Castle Hearts and we've spent all our money. Uh, so Castle Hearts uh, is always here, has a bunch of stuff. Uh, the exact stuff that it has will vary uh, from run to run, but the things uh, are things that you can find out in the world. So uh, the Church of Clubs. Uh, so. This is because we just went to the uh, the Church of Threes, so we've enhanced our threes. Uh, this guy would have enhanced our clubs, but we can only have one enhancement. Uh, so we can abandon our faith, lose our enhanced threes, and we'll get 10 chips for doing that, which is actually a net gain. Uh, we spent five to get it, and that will gain us 10. That's actually quite tempting. Uh, or we desecrate the altar and improve your previous enhancement. However, the priest will not be happy. <laughs> so we'll have to fight the priest, basically. Uh, improve our previous enhancement, though. Desecrate is the only option. Uh, I might. I might. How we could do more gems. So flea market lets you trade one resource for another. I am gonna do that. And actually, there's often opportunities for arbitrage here as well. Uh, yeah, so we can spend seven chips uh, if we had them. Well, we can spend four food to get nine chips, and then we can spend seven of those chips to get four food back again. So, arbitrage for the win. Um... And I don't want to do any of those. We could go to the dungeon. Uh, so basically we fight two elites. And if we beat them, we get 11 chips and a food and four gems. Which is pretty good. But I would like to get some better equipment before I go in there really. And we probably can't afford very much. Nope. Not unless we abandon our faith, and then we could get 10 chips back and we could buy something. Uh, Sword of Darkness, cards adding to at least 10, curse 10. So curse uh, is a debuff that we put on an enemy's items, and if he doesn't use that item, he takes that amount of damage on his turn. And curse will stay there until the item is used. So if you get an enemy with uh, some pieces of equipment that they will rarely use. Curse is great to stick on those. Uh, although Curse 10 is... it's not brilliant. What is this upgrade to? Curse 14, Curse 18, Curse 22. There are better weapons, for sure. Uh, a Blackjack attack for... 42, that's gonna be. What blackjack. We have one spare item slot. 
Uh, if we want any more, we've got to buy them with chips. Uh, what else? Bag of, tri bag of tricks, no card cost, one energy cost, cycle up to two cards of your choice, including enemy cards. Uh, so yeah, we can force a discard and a redraw. That's pretty good. Righteous Offering, no card cost, steal a target card. Takes the target card from the opponent. Uh, I mean, that's good. We can harm them at the same time as helping us. Oh, except enemy then draws two. Mm, uniform Axe of Poison, must be exactly three cards. Poison for their sum times a half, plus 50% if cards are flushes. All right. Food is a problem though, because um, we've only got four. So we are definitely gonna need more food. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. How many is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Might be ten food actually. Um, get that from oh we have one food from the dungeon that's not great is it uh or we buy it in the shop for how much was it two chips for one food that's terrible uh well we'll get food from from fights as we go along as well uh, also uh consumables uh you can buy so these are pieces of equipment that don't require an equipment slot to use them uh but they have a certain number of charges and when they run out of charges, you've got to recharge them at a campfire. So one of clarity, reveal one, reusable. Uh, that's pretty good. That will show us one of the enemy's hidden cards. Kate, hello. How are you doing? It's also on sale. Ooh, that's tempting. Wand of charm. Charm two to one item. Charm will give cards used to the opponent. So yeah, if we charm one of the opponent, our enemy's items, then any cards he puts into that item will be given to us. Uh, anemic Dart, the enemy gains Anemia 2, which makes poison stacks go up instead of down. There's so many uh, like effects in this game. It's a lot of fun. Uh, Water Clarity is the only one we can actually afford. That could be pretty useful. I'm actually going to buy that. Uh, and that will be automatically uh, equipped because we do not need a slot for it because it's consumable. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's fight the... I'm gonna say, let's fight the elites first, but maybe maybe you're right. Maybe we should go desecrate the, uh, the altar and make our enhancement even better. Let's do it. Enhanced threes increase from 8 to 11. The priest is very angry. Four card flush will heal to maximum health. But one use per combat. Three card flush attacks us for 13. Uh, so we can sort these by suit to make it easier to see whether he's got that or not. He is unpleasantly close. This is where the Wand of Clarity becomes useful. Uh, but we will do that and that. Show me what you got. Okay, so he does not have a flush. So, we'll stick that into there. We... Do you want to use a gem? It's only attack 13. It's not that bad. Let's just end our turn. This is where more card draw would really be good for us, because we've got a weapon that really just needs lots of cards to get chucked into it. Um... He may have it if he's got a diamond. But again, it's only 13. Oh, he had a diamond. Yeah. Now he definitely has it. Okay, well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use some energy to make us tough. And actually, let's use a gem. So this is worth a lot. Uh, we could actually unlock the flail again. 
Yeah, we're only taking seven damage from this. Let's unlock the flail. Oh, in fact, then we're not taking any damage, so I shouldn't have used that at all. All right, good. Well, our threes are now plus 11, which is awesome. So let's try the dungeon. Okay, four black cards, curse nine to three arbitrary hero items. Arbitrary targets are chosen randomly, allowing items to get targeted more than once. So that's bad because uh, if something is cursed that is already cursed, then the curse on it procs and does damage to us. So because we've only got two pieces, two items anyway, this will curse, well, it could curse the same item three times. So curse nine would go on it. Another curse nine would go on it. That would proc the first one, which would do nine damage to us. And then the third one would go on it. And that would proc the, the curse again, which would do nine more damage to us. Uh, which would be bad, uh, but it could be even worse. He could have five black cards and then he will hit us for 41. Oh, he could have six black cards. Um, I and I sets lightning to 100%. Uh, for 3 strikes so lightning is a funky mechanic in this game so items that have lightning have a maximum value and then essentially every turn the amount of lightning damage is randomized so you could get 1% lightning damage in which case it would do 1 damage if lightning were to go off this turn or you could get uh, like we've got now 88% lightning damage in which case this is now doing 41 damage to us if it goes off, if he has another black card, which uh, odds are he does. Uh, that's horrible. It would almost be better if he had six. <sighs> mm. Okay, well, we will do that for the damage. We need... He might not do any damage, but if he does, it would be bad. So I'm going to do that. Oh, uh, we just gave him a black card. Oh, well, go us. Well done. Yeah. Oh, he had two red cards as well. <laughs> okay, they've upped the uh, the dramaticness of that lightning effect since uh, early access. Uh, yeah, that was, that was bad. We... Uh, yeah, I'm stupid. Oh, well. At least we know he doesn't have four or five or six black cards this turn. Uh, and he didn't curse us because lightning went off. So, oh god, we've got to get this fight over with ASAP. Uh, let's put 20 in there. Use that. Uh, we just need six more. Use it again, but that's all it can do this turn. Uh, Could have given him both, I guess. But then, yeah, 100% lightning. Like, at least now if lightning goes off again, it's only 23 damage now. Ionize. It's bad if it goes off. Um, I don't know how quick... I mean, the maximum damage we can do each turn is 50, right? So, best case, uh, it's two more turns before we can kill him. And that's going to require using gems. And then we've got another elite to fight after this. It's not, it's not good. I need better equipment. Um, okay, he might curse us, but he might not. Oh god, do I keep using gems? I've got to save some for the next fight. This is... Rough. Use one now. King a six of four. Do it. Do that. On there. And turn. Okay. Two blacks. Mm. Can't keep using gems. Two blacks. God, we got lucky. Seven and a four. 
three blacks, but dead. Okay, second elite. Uh, oh. Is that exactly the same? That's not quite the same. He's a poison lish rather than a lightning lish. Five black cards does poison 19. Ah, uh, that's pretty bad. Uh, an anemic, yeah, is the one that makes poison stacks go up instead of down. That would be really, really horrible. Oh, uh, God. Okay, well, we're just going to use our gems up. Uh, that and that in that. Do that. That. Doing more than once, can we? Ah, uh, maybe it's worth doing that. There. Play the odds. Okay, now things are looking less good. We are doing that. We are doing that. 91, oh my god. Uh, so he's definitely going to do something bad to us. So we do that and we do that. We put that in there at the end. Okay, so when we get hit by poison, it's going up rather than down. Uh, what? We, oh god, he's giving us confounded as well. Makes curse stay on items and increases them. When confounded end, you cannot remove curse from your items and the curse values increase by 25% per turn. Curse damage can still be avoided for the turn by activating items. Oh my god. Wow, and we got no gems. Uh, okay, we are possibly in a little bit of trouble. Okay, so if we don't activate either of these items, we take nine damage. Normally if we activate it, the curse will go away, but because I've confounded, it won't. Take the nine damage. You know, let's just take the nine damage. Oh my god. What did he get? Did he just hit a got curse again, probably? <laughs> We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're so dead. Ah oh my god. This is worth so much. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna hit that. I don't know if that helps us with curse, actually. Okay, we just took the nine curse, but the curse increased. That's fine, because we can do that, and we can do that, and he's still not dead. Oh god. I thought that was kill. Oh. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. That's very very bad, and we'll give this. We'll give it to actually. At this stage, we want to, we want him to have six black cards, don't we? So I think we do that anyway, and then we put that up as well. Okay. Oh my God, we're one short for the flail. We're one short. He's got a horrible number of. Ah, oh my God. Uh, well, we can... Oh my god. What do we do here? We gotta put that in there. We gotta put that in there. 
Gotta do that again. Yes. I hope we live. Poison 19. Okay, we gotta kill. Which, fortunately, we can do. Goodbye. Uh, yes, it is a shuffled 52 card deck. Yep. Yep. But it's left us in a bit of a bad way. Uh, visit the Castle Tavern. Pay a chip to restore 16 of your health. Uh, well, I will definitely do that. Oh my god. We can use food to heal as well. I uh, pay three chips to gain one food. The shop has a better deal on food than that. Uh, Twelve. I got. I've got. A, I need card draw. Maybe upgrading my flail from the beginning was really not a smart move before I got card draw. But I don't know. Like, 25 damage rather than 15. I think maybe, maybe that was still good. Um, we need to do something. We almost need to just buy food and use that to heal, but that seems like a horrible waste. What's coming up? Okay, we can get food here. And then a food there. But then we're kind of we're locked into this path here. Mm. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I think I am just going to buy food. We can only heal one space per... Uh, one hit of food per map node as well. Um, but we just need to do that as much as we can. Okay, I'd like to do him because of the food reward. Uh, and then we could go up there, depending on what's up the top here, I guess, as well. Three cards straight, attack for 39. Two cards straight, attack for 10. Three cards, he loses three. So if he doesn't do either of those things... Come on, surely we can beat a kobold. He's got a three card straight already. You've got to be kidding me. Really? Really? Well, all right. Doing that then. And I guess we're gonna lock as much as we can. Doesn't matter if we give him that. 10. To do that, get in with that. Eight, six. We could block for more, I suppose. Uh, 39, 29, 25 divided by 2 is going to be 12 damage. I guess. He has a two card straight. Great. I'm 
So I do that in there, and then that, and then that. I can't put him there anyway. It's worth going in there. Am I going to use an energy? I'm going to use an energy. Couldn't risk him having that. Oh god, two scouts straight again. Again, he's got one HP more than I need to kill him with two hits. Fine, spend a gem. Hits. Uh, so we've got six charges on the wand. Uh, started with eight charges. Um, yeah. Then once it gets to zero, we can refill it as well. It doesn't go away. Uh, but we do need a campsite to do that. Uh, one short of hitting the flail again. Uh, I guess... Give him an 8, that's fine. Let's do that. Put those two into there. 9. Three cards. straight you are hitting me wait I can kill him okay good treasure a random item I could use that Disease rat, a pair gives us poison 10. We can see exactly what he has. <laughs> I don't know about that. We are struggling now, we want to heal. Uh, I want the item. Even though it locks us into this path, which could be horrendous, but... Okay, not bad, gem. Do you have a pair? You do not have a pair. Okay, good. 126. I'm gonna use my gem. We're gonna do that and do it. And it's kind of wasted. Yeah, sh well, that was dumb. Why am I using my gem on the first turn? Because the first turn it's only a lock 10, and thereafter it's a lock 20. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Well, there is literally nothing I can do. Poison 10. So poison hits me at the end of my turn. Which just give me a chance to block. Hey, Toriyami. This is classic mode. Ah, uh, but we can block it. So we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that but he's gonna poison me air again that's okay I'm only taking 10 damage now block all of that 18 damage next goes and again oh man this rat I got no gems <laughs> oh no does tough help me with poison damage I don't think it does I think it's just attack damage Okay, we're in a bad way. We are in a bad way. This is not a boss, no. <laughs> this is a trash. Uh, this is trash who's got very lucky with his pairs, I think. Uh, God, do we, do we block it? We better block it. I hit him three more times to kill him, though. Uh, 
Uh, we've, yeah, I think we better block it. I don't think we're gonna survive this though. Frig. Even this doesn't unlock our flail. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead, no way. This kills us. So, unless somehow we can kill him, which we cannot. But one more hit in on you. And then. Deceased. Oh dear. We died on world 112 to a diseased rat of all things. Ah, seduced by my greed for the treasure. I shouldn't have gone that way. God, I had 160 hit points as well. <laughs> I I generally only play this game in classic mode, but I but maybe maybe they've rebalanced it since 1.0. That's my excuse. Yeah, they've definitely rebalanced it much harder now, much harder than it used to be.